Oh my lord, y'all. I am so excited for this video. I need to get to work here soon. I don't even care. I could not wait till this weekend to film. I had been stalking the Wet n Wild website waiting for their new collection to drop. I guess it's their winter collection. I wanted this new foundation so badly for Cruelty Free Foundation Friday. And I did get the new concealer and the new powder. Unfortunately, I don't have the powder here to show y'all because it was missing from my order. So today we are going to be testing out the new Photo Focus Foundation foundation and photo focus concealer from Wet n Wild. So let me give you a rundown on the foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It is $5.99. That is an amazing price. That's some of the most affordable foundation I've ever seen at the drugstore. And they did release 20 shades right off the bat. That is like unheard of for a new foundation at the drugstore. Most companies will release like 8 to 10 and then if the foundation does really well, it sells well, then they'll expand the shade range. But 20 shades right out the gate, that's very impressive to me. And it appears on the website that they have very, very light all the way to very deep. Again, we're going to have to see that in store to see if that's actually accurate. Hopefully it will be. Also, what I think is so cool with this new launch is that these two products, I know for a fact, are vegan. They started adding a little V on the back of their packaging. That is so handy, little visual aid there to just verify that it's vegan. So the only claims that I can find on this whole range is the whole photo focus thing that it does seem a little bit gimmicky to me too that there is supposed to be no flashback and it was tested under all these different lighting it's it's on the box uh, clear blue sunlit outdoor indoor fluorescent bathroom nightclub light and it's never supposed to flash back in all those settings you know I do appreciate that definitely but I just know to not wear a foundation with sunscreen in it if I'm gonna be having flash photography done anyways we will test it out just in case I'll do a flash photo just to verify by that. Let's talk about the concealer. This is $3.99, great price, and there are six shades in this range. Unfortunately, hold on, this is light ivory. This is the lightest shade in this range. It's darker than my foundation, which this is the fifth shade in the range. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. I am going to try it out today just for testing purposes, but I may have to use this in the summer, like as my summer concealer when I'm darker. I do think I'll be able to use it. It's just going to have to be when I'm a little bit darker. Well, I think I covered pretty much anything I could think of, so let's just go ahead and get into the application. I do have my Real Technique sponge wet here to go, and then I do have my Up and Up foundation brush here. Again, I'm, I'm a sponge fanatic. That's all I typically use, so if it applies well, with this that's just what I'm gonna go for and it does appear to have one of these annoying spatula applicators that I am NOT a fan of I highly recommend that you do not rub it on your face like this and then stick it back into the bottle that is disgusting so I'm just gonna scrape some out on the back of my hand that has been freshly washed always before makeup application I'm a little bit of a germaphobe if you haven't been able to notice <laughs> one side of my face done with one layer and with a sponge. Um, first, off, first of all, it is too light, I can tell, but not too, too bad. And again, you know, it's going into winter, so I may get this light, so I guess it'll be okay. I'd rather have it be too light than too dark, honestly. Um, but yeah, it is a hair too light. First impressions? Uh, I don't know. I don't hate it. It's not horrible, but it's not knocking my socks off either. Um, it's looking a little bit obvious and a little bit dry on my skin, um, and it's not giving me the best coverage. You see? See all my melasma, everything. Sh yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's not giving me the best coverage, um, but it's not horrible either. So I'm going to try it with a brush. Since I'm not crazy about the sponge application, maybe it'll look better with a brush. We'll see. layer 
of sunscreen on when you're about to like hit the pool or the beach or something like that and you feel it on your skin until it kind of soaks in that's what my face feels like right now I can feel it on my face and that's interesting because it's a lot thinner than say like the Kat Von D which I don't feel on my face hardly at all okay so this is it I, I really don't want to try to add another layer because I'm afraid it's just gonna get more cakey and cakey um, I would say I have medium coverage yep yep probably medium maybe light medium and it feels very very thick on the skin so um, I'm just gonna leave it like this set it with powder and see how it does I, I really don't want to mess with it anymore I feel like the more I try to blend and blend and blend it just kind of like kind of stirs it all up so I feel like just letting it stay where it is is the best option right now um, but initially I am I'm not very happy I'm not this sucks I was so excited about this maybe it'll look better throughout the day maybe it will all right let's go for the concealer we're gonna have to see if this is way way too dark I'm not gonna be able to do it I'm not gonna go to work with raccoon eyes <laughs> It's darker than the rest of my face does it I'm gonna have to see in editing but even though it looked really dark in the tube it um it seemed to blend out to be a little bit lighter yeah again not super full coverage want to reiterate that but it actually looks pretty nice on the under eye I have no complaints there all right well I am gonna go set all of this I'm gonna set the eye with the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder which I am almost done with I can't wait for this thing to die and my cover effects matte setting powder for the rest of the face it really doesn't give much more coverage just sets it and helps keep me matte throughout the day I have incredibly oily skin so I need all the help I can get and then I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup for the day just something real simple and I will be back Hey y'all, just wanted to let you know that it is 9.20 on the dot right now and I do need to get on the road. Like I said, powdered it with the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder and just did a little bit of blush and bronzer and then just really did my eyes and I have lip balm on. So nothing too intense today. I don't know how I feel about this. This may be one that I do need to try out more in the future and keep y'all updated. But my first impressions are that I'm not incredibly impressed with it. And part of me says, like, uh, it's six bucks. What can you expect? But then my other part's like, no, no, that's bull. You can find wonderful foundations at the drugstore. And even, no matter what price it is, it, it needs to hold its own. Anyways, I better go. It's kind of bumming me out. I was so looking forward to this one. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I better get out of here. Hey y'all, thought I'd check in. It is 2 o'clock on the dot and I'm just now going to lunch. Um, I don't know why I'm not, like I'm not hungry at all, but I know I need to eat. I just want to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep so badly. I was nodding off at my desk and I got plenty of sleep last night. It just makes no sense. I think I'm just ready for a nice long Christmas break. So do y'all want to see why it is just absolutely wonderful to be a big sister to a 12 year old boy? Just wait, hold on. So can y'all see that? Can y'all see the penises drawn all over my back windows? Don't know if you can. There's like big penises, little penises. It's like a whole damn family of dicks on my car. Yeah, they're absolutely everywhere. I took him and his friends to go get a red box two nights ago, something like that. I guess it like fogged up the windows or something and they drew dicks everywhere. Why are they obsessed with dicks? It's so weird. The mind of like a 12, 13 year old boy is a place I don't ever want to see inside. Okay, so a couple things. One, oxidation. I cannot stand it. That just frustrates me. It's hard enough to find a shade match, but then you find one and then it oxidizes. Ugh. Anyways, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell it as well. It doesn't look as bad on the viewfinder, but in real life, in natural light especially, I can see it. It's like this line right here where my face has gotten really, really pink. And it's very interesting to me. So that's a little bit frustrating. On a positive note, I will say I am still pretty mad. I'm not getting really oily or anything like that. I haven't felt the need to blot at all. So that's definitely a plus. Um, but it just still looks kind of cakey and patchy all around here and pretty much any other complaint that I had uh, during the first check-in. So still not one of my favorites um, with the oxidizing thing. 
I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I can wear it. I guess I can try to switch around primers, moisturizers, powders, all that kind of stuff and see if I can help combat it. Um, I can typically make a foundation work for me unless it oxidizes. There's just kind of nothing you can do with that. You might have seen this already, but I did test out their whole flash photo technology thing, the no flashback. I took a photo of myself sitting in my office, um, so artificial lighting. Took it with flash, my face is white as a ghost, so I definitely have flashback. Now, I don't know, that could have been powder maybe? I mean, does powder typically do that too? I don't know, I did use a matte setting powder. Um, but you think it wouldn't be quite so bad. So yeah, I definitely had flashback to you. I'm gonna go get me some lunch and check in with you guys later on this afternoon. Bye. I just got home. It's been a very long day, but I have one more day left before Christmas. Thank God. Tomorrow's my Friday. I'm taking the actual Friday, the day before Christmas Eve, I'm taking it off. Let's start off with a positive. A. Pretty much the biggest positive I have about this entire review is that it is very matte. It has kept me very matte. And with that, I am impressed because that is rare to find. I do have pretty oily skin, so yay. Good job, Wet n Wild. I can say the concealer I actually really like. That held up really well. Not super full coverage, again, but I think perfect for just day to day, going to the office, running around on the weekend, whatever. Um, I think it looked I think it looks very nice. Again, if you are lighter than me, you might struggle with the, the shade selection considering this is the lightest shade it comes in. But again, at $6, if you're out there trying to find a good cruelty-free foundation, this very well may be worth the gamble for you because it may work beautifully. Again, I don't absolutely hate it. Our skin, it, it is very different from person to person. I'd say even though I'm not crazy about it, I still think it may be worth giving it a try keep your receipt. That's all I have to say. Hold on to your receipt. Return it if you're not satisfied. But I do think there is a chance. I think there's a lot of people that are probably going to like this. It does offer decent coverage. It's not full. I would say a medium coverage foundation. Um, and good for, for oily skin. Yeah. Those are positives. I'm being positive. So anyways, I'll see y'all in a couple of days, probably on Monday, regular scheduled video. I don't think I'm going to miss any uploads or anything like that with the holidays. Although I don't know if I'm going to be real active on social media this weekend. Obviously, I want to spend time with my family, catch up with people I haven't seen in a while, and I hope y'all get the opportunity to do that too. I really do hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Love you so, so much, and don't ever forget that you are perfectly, absolutely, wonderfully famous in your small little hometowns, and that is all that matters. Love y'all. Bye.